Hello, this is the Saboteur coming at you from Hibble the Gaming. Alright, we're playing Battlefront today. Alright, I checked out Battlefront on beta, but it didn't have very many options. All it had was the Walker Assault and the Drop Zone. But now the game is out, and it's got a lot more options to play. So right now we're checking out Fighter Squadron. So this is getting a flight of ships around. This is freaking awesome. Right now I'm flying a A-Wing. So, I'm one of the rebels. We're taking out the Imperials. This is the ship like Han Solo flew in uh, Star Wars, man. It's a bad son of a bitch. And I really enjoy this game. I love their superiority on battle, Battlefield. Now, uh, Fighter Squadron on uh, Battlefront is just as fun, if not funner, man. Check this shit out. I have a pretty good game. It's my first time flying. I flew the, the Fighter... fighter G, I don't know what to call them, spacecrafts, whatever. But I flew them on uh, the Battlefront Beta on the uh, Walker Assault, and I sucked, man. Every time I went up in one, I didn't get no freaking kills, and I usually crashed the son of a bitch right there. I about come close to crashing. But I came out here and played it on a squadron, or a fighter squadron, and it's freaking awesome, man. It's one of the, one of the games that when I do buy this game, I'm going to be playing it a lot because I do enjoy it a lot. Now you can just check out the the graphics here. It's pretty freaking awesome, guys. All right, my fighter skills are starting to improve. This is like my third or fourth game on it, and I come out and I have a pretty good game, so I decided to bring it to a video. All right, check it out. Flying around, got to make some double maneuvers here. You got your regular. Uh, regular fire with R2 and then when you get a lock you can push uh, R1 I'm using a PlayStation 4 right now no I'm using an Xbox so I guess you would use the right bottom button for firing and your uh, left bottom button for aiming sighting in and then you use your right top button RB button for you shooting your your double missiles out but here I'm chasing this son of a bitch down and you got not only you got regular people out here in these ships because there's so many of them you can see it looks like a real battle going on but you got regular people out here plus you got AI as well so I mean you got to fight a lot of these ships are AI and the AI are a little easier to kill but I mean they got 30 40 different spacecraft flying around on each side so they, it'd be hard to put that many people in these planes because it'd be pretty pretty chaotic so there is AI out here but I mean I end up going two two kills against regular people, 15 kills against AI with zero deaths, which ain't a bad game. But I mean, I went and checked out all the rest of the Battlefront, man. It's a pretty fun, pretty fun game. You know, I'm gonna do a review over it. I hate to to give away too much of my review, but even the they came out and they had a lot more maps. I mean, the beta, you know, I was kind of let down with the beta, but the game come out and it had a lot more maps. A lot more different game modes and this right here is going to be my favorite game mode and the mechanics of it seems a little better than it did in the beta so right here I'm following this guy I'm trying to get a lock man there he goes boom shot right by me I got the kill but he went by as I got it so now I got to get a lock on this dude shot my missiles out took his ass down but I mean it, it makes me feel like I'm uh, Han Solo or Han Solo flying around with Chewbacca at my side and we're going in for the big kill fighting the fixing to attack the Death Star. I wish they had a Death Star here to attack man. That would be even a little bit more cooler. Oh that ship I blew up just flew right through me. But there isn't no Death Star here to attack because I mean that would make it a little cooler. Put a little more realism in it. Get out here and have the big fight. The Rebels against the the Imperials and then had to take the Death Star down afterwards, but I don't need no Death Star. I'm having a lot of fun just out here flying around. Oh, look at it. I got him down. He's hurt. But I mean, it kind of, I mean, it'd be better if it was all real people instead of part of it being AI. But if they, if it wasn't, you wouldn't be able to get as many, many people out here. So, I mean, there's like 30, 40 ships on each side. So they got to go with some of them being AI. I mean, you can't have 30, 40 people in real life on each side. 
and be able to keep up with all the the different people's flying and the whole battle so they do add AI to it but I'm glad they do because if they didn't it would be maybe like 10 on 10 and it wouldn't be quite as fun as it is because when you're out here I mean there's just everywhere you look or are, are different spaceships spacecrafts I don't know what to call them fighter fighter jets but they're not actually jets but fighter ships I guess the X-wing and the A-wing the X-wing being the littler one on the rebel side and the A-wing being the bigger Han Solo type uh, spacecraft you gotta forgive me for my terminology <laughs> I haven't watched Star Wars I watched it since uh, that originally came out back with the day of Han Solo and Luke Skywalker I watched the newer ones but I didn't get into them as well but I mean I was a big Star Wars fan back in the day I love the Darth Vader and the Luke Skywalker you know saga that was pretty freaking awesome and this game is based on that it's not based on the new story or the new uh, Star Wars and Star Wars they kinda done them backwards they started off with the one where Luke Skywalker and then was old and Darth Vader you know was his dad and then they went back to where Darth Vader was young and he was a kid where he was Anakin Skywalker and he was still young so all you Star Wars fans know that they did it backwards but I guess they couldn't pull off back in the day the special effects and stuff that they were going to need to do when they did the newer ones. But I like the older ones better. I mean, the special effects might not have been as cool, but in their time, they were the freaking bomb diddly doo die. All right, here we are. I'm getting a lock on a guy. And my maneuverability is getting down. I mean, you got to be able to do some spin, circle, flips upside down, twist around, backwards, head over heels kind of moves, man. That was a sweet little kill right there. I'm getting where I can keep up with them when they do their little twist moves and flip moves. So, I mean, I, I flew this whole game right here. Didn't get shot down once. And uh, didn't wipe out once. But you ain't having to nosedive down at walkers and, and uh, ground soldiers. You're just up here fighting in the sky, man. It's just a dog fight in the air. And it's pretty freaking awesome. All right. Here we go. I just got through watching Terminator this week, man. I'm going to give a thumbs up to Terminator, the new Terminator. It's got a twisted plot you got to be able to keep up with because they kind of interact with the timelines. I mean, that's another good movie from back in the day. It came out in 84. Star Wars, original Star Wars came out in like 78, I think, the first one. But, I mean, it's from the same time period, so I just want to give a shout out to the Terminator movie. I, I liked it a lot. But anyhow, let's get back to some Star Wars, folks. All right, I had a pretty good game. I thank y'all for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. It wasn't as exciting commentary as I normally do. But, I mean, it's hard to talk about a 10-minute uh, a dogfight in the sky. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to like. Feel free to comment. By all means, subscribe. We got some free game giveaways going on. One November 16th, one December 23rd. We're going to try to have one every month. So feel free to subscribe to Hillbilly Gaming. Thank you. This is Saboteur out. Y'all come back now, you hear?